how to buy from Alibaba safely. Alibaba has millions of sellers and millions of products to choose from, but you have to be extremely careful when ordering products online, especially spending thousands of dollars. How do you know you're going to get good quality? How do you know your supplier will actually deliver on time? I'm going to discuss today exactly what to watch out for. By the end of this video, you will be well informed and confident on how to take the next steps to place your first order. So make sure you watch the entire guide so you don't miss any important steps. So first of all, what is Alibaba? Well, the best way to look at it is basically the Chinese equivalent of Amazon or eBay, but for B2B, business to business, wholesale. And broadly speaking, there are two types of companies that you'll actually see on Alibaba. Manufacturers, number one, and number two, trading companies which are more like typical wholesalers. So let's do a search first so we can learn how to screen through the suppliers. So when you're sourcing products, it could be for any online marketplace, including Amazon, eBay, Shopify, etc. But let's assume it's Amazon. And let's say we're looking for a keyboard. So if we look through Amazon here, let's see if we can find an interesting looking keyboard that we can then search for on Alibaba. This is a nice one, this mechanical gaming keyboard. So you can actually search by the keywords gaming keyboard or what you can do is you can actually use the picture as well. If you save the picture on your laptop or computer, you can then upload it onto Alibaba and I'll show you how. When you go to Alibaba, you'll see here there's a camera sign. So you can actually upload the picture here. Just upload the file. And now based on the image here in the top left that I've actually uploaded, Alibaba will show me all of the listings related to that product, which is really cool. It's a quick way to almost find exactly what you're looking for. Now, each of these listings are different manufacturers and trading companies and they are listing this product and you'll see a price underneath. You'll see the name of the company and you'll see how long they've been trading here on Alibaba. You'll also see some other ticks and badges underneath, which we'll discuss in just a second. Now, firstly, a warning. These prices are not even guide prices. They're kind of meaningless. You have to actually reach out to the supplier to find out what the actual price is per unit for that product based on the amount that you're looking to order. And if you see any prices that are very, very low, then be a little bit careful. If something is too good to be true, then it usually is. So the first step is to check whether they are a verified supplier and that they accept trade assurance. You may also see the label gold supplier. So let's discuss them. Let's click on one of these listings. And firstly, you can see here verified custom manufacturer for seven years, they've been trading here on Alibaba. So what does the verified mean? Basically, it means this supplier has had an external assessment and verification by a third party. They vetted out the company and the factory. So this is kind of like the first layer of protection. The second layer is here, protection with trade assurance. This is one way you could make payments. And we'll discuss payments in more detail later on in the video. But basically, trade assurance, what it means is it's a free service provided by Alibaba to create trust between buyers and suppliers. It acts as an extra protection layer in case of any shipping or quality related disputes. An easier way I think about it is almost like it's a, a holding account between you and the supplier. So when you make payment, it's held there and then it's released after to the supplier. And if there's any issues, you can actually place a dispute and get it back. You're, you're protected basically. It's almost like an Alibaba warranty. Now where these things really help is if, for example, the shipment's not on time, there's an issue, you may be eligible for a refund. If the product quality is very poor or didn't meet the terms set in the contract, you may be eligible for a refund. So that's the first bit of due diligence you need to do. Now, there is a way to filter this. So let's say we were just searching for the general keyword phrase, gaming keyboard, and we have a few different options and styles here. On the left here, you can actually filter and you can click on verified supplier and you can click on trade assurance as well. And then notice there's a, a newer tab here, verified pro supplier. So these are industry leading verified suppliers with five plus years of experience. So you can click that too instead of verified supplier or just click both. By the way, if you're finding value in the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you take a few seconds and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I regularly post helpful content like this. And that leads me on to the second point. How many years have they been selling and advertising on Alibaba? In my experience, you should really be going for those with five years or more. How many massive factories do you know that just popped up in the last few weeks or months? You would really don't want to be buying from any listings here where the suppliers only been trading here for, let's say, a year or two years. That would be a little bit riskier. Although it's not commonplace, sometimes you get people come on to Alibaba and then suddenly disappear. So when you're scrolling through here, you really should expect in pretty much any niche that 
you should be finding manufacturers who have five years or more in terms of experience. So keep that in mind. So that leads me to number three, the next thing you can do. And this wasn't really the case several years ago when purchasing from Alibaba, but nowadays it's much like Amazon. You can actually check the supplier's reviews. So if you click on a listing, if you scroll down and find the supplier's name and underneath it has a store rating, you can click on that rating. Notice also, before we look through these, it's also got the revenue figure here, response time and on time delivery rate. So those can be very useful. If you see something alarming here, like 10 or 20% or something like that, or you see the revenue as very, very low, then these are also red flags that something's not right. You would not expect a manufacturer, even if they're doing business off of Alibaba, to have such little trading volume. When you look through the reviews, you'll see this is four out of five, which is not the best. And you have to be a little bit careful. Sometimes when the number of reviews are very low and there was only five reviews and it's one disgruntled customer, then fair enough, you know, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. But these are 26 reviews, so clearly they've had some negative reviews here. So you want to read through these. And some of these you might find they're not even in English if English is the language you're using. So you can easily translate these in Google Translate, for example. And you can see some people are concerned with what they actually received in the end. And you can see, um, you know, there's pages and pages of reviews, which is really good. And the important thing also to note with reviews, which is really cool, it's almost like seller feedback on Amazon is here the ratings there for the last 365 days. So it's, it's got that recency effect, which is very useful. Sometimes manufacturers would have had a great reputation for many years and they, let's say they had a thousand five-star reviews and then perhaps they were struggling and started creating very poor quality products. Well, you wouldn't see that on the reviews. This is why the recency effect is good here and you're only really seeing the rating from the last one year. And also obviously you can read through them manually as well. Very helpful. The next thing you can do is when you're messaging the supplier, so you just click here on any listing, you can message them and ask them whatever you want to. For example, you can ask them for their entire catalog that they offer. You can ask them for some of their prices, their minimum order quantity, etc. But apart from that, one good thing you could consider doing is ask them for European or US references. They may even share the products they already source and they can send you an Amazon listing, for example. And you can actually look at that listing and you, you'll know from the reviews there an indication of the quality of that product. So that can be useful. That's not a deal breaker, but sometimes just consider asking that as well. The next important check is to do with payments here. So on the listings, you'll see what payments they accept. But like I said before, make sure they include trade assurance even if you don't use it. Because like I said, trade assurance, especially if you're a, a brand new customer to Alibaba, is one of the safest ways you can actually purchase a product in the first instance. Now, some people do recommend PayPal as well, and you get that extra PayPal protection. My only issue with that is that's separate from Alibaba, so you're not really covered by Alibaba if there are any issues. So I still prefer trade assurance personally. My next piece of advice is using an inspection service. Now, Alibaba actually offer this. So when it's coming to the point where you're making the payment and you're actually ordering the product, there's an extra checkbox, which you can actually tick if you prefer to have that inspection done. Now, even if you don't do it, I actually think it's a good idea to ask the supplier if they're happy to be a part of this, because usually if they're happy to have their products inspected, then they've not really got anything to hide. So you can still ask them the question and then you don't have to use the inspection service. The only issue with them is they can be quite expensive. And if you're on a tight budget, especially for your first order, then that might not be helpful when it comes to your actual profit margins. However, an alternative there is you can order a sample. So all suppliers should be happy to send you a sample and you just pay for that one sample and obviously the shipping involved. When you get the sample, inspect the quality of the product, especially the packaging around the product, and then you can obviously make a decision. But just remember that doesn't mean 100% that all of the next batch of products that they're going to send to you are going to be as good of quality as the sample. So just keep that in mind as well, but you should expect it to be very similar. The next important check, can the supplier provide the certification? For most products, especially electronic products, for example, it will have had to be lab tested. And what you can actually do is find the certificate. Sometimes they're actually on the listing. Like if you scroll further down, you may see some of the certification or you can just reach out to them. You're contacting them anyway, and you'll have that back and forth discussion and dialogue. So you can actually ask them, hey, can you please send me the certification for this product? What you can do is look on the product as well. If you're still a little bit nervous, just to verify, 
check the name of the certification and the number that's registered. And you can actually go online and check in that website and see whether this product is in fact actually 100% registered just to be on the safe side. This is an example certificate and you can see here the test standard numbers and usually a certificate number at the top that you'd be able to search. Overall, Alibaba is a perfectly safe online platform to find products to sell online, provided you know which suppliers and manufacturers to trust and which ones to avoid. If you have any questions, please comment below and consider clicking on one of the above videos for more helpful guides.